Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're playing The Sims 4. This is how my sims look when they know I'm coming back. The game loaded and they're just like, why are we here? <laughs> just to suffer. <laughs> they know when you and I arrive that stuff is going down. So if you didn't see last episode, to quickly refresh, we had a battle royale in the prison and uh, Shrek was the last remaining member and he's just thrilled about it. So he's joined the family. Um, what I want to do today is I want to buy a restaurant and sell off my other businesses and I've got a little plan. Um, I'm not sure what businesses I actually own. I should probably pay my bills of 26,000. <laughs> Christ almighty. Mighty. I'm gonna run out of money fast if this keeps up. He looks very sad. <laughs> I would too if I was paying a bill of that size. In fact, no, I'd look bankrupt is what I'd look. <laughs> <laughs> Very accurate. <laughs> We're hemorrhaging money here, and Jim's first instinct is to buy a restaurant. Oh, also, I should free my family. <laughs> They're stuck behind the bookcase. There you go, lads. How do you come? <laughs> uh, Jim, you're in the wrong seat. Can you go into the other one and buy a restaurant, please? Oh my god, will everyone just move out of the way? You don't even want to use the computer. <laughs> it's like, mind if I use the computer? Uh, I'm kind of doing something. <laughs> you're not even on the computer. Yeah, I just like to sit here. <laughs> the city might be a good place to buy one. That'll be nice and busy. There are no restaurants, okay. People don't eat in the city, apparently. I just went back to the old neighborhood and no one lives here. <laughs> He's killed everyone. <laughs> There's literally no one living in the neighborhood. I guess I could buy back my old restaurant. For some reason, it's not been bought. <laughs> All right, the city clearly needs somewhere to eat. There's a gap in the market. Where will I bulldoze? The old salt house. Yeah, bulldoze that. It's just someone's house. Feck it. There we go, a little burger bar now in the city. <laughs> just knocked someone's house for a little burger bar. <laughs> Come on, don't look so sad. Jim, you gotta spend money to make money, and we're spending a lot, so we should make a lot, right? Look at this nice, trendy little burger place. Lovely. Say hello to your waiter. <laughs> I made them wear Grim Reaper outfits, but they're just floating heads now. Oh, he's happy about it. He loves it. Look how happy he is to be a floating head. He's got a good outlook on life. Uh, it would appear, though, that the restaurant is outdoors and it is snowing, so let's see how this goes. Okay, now I've gotten my door and we'll hire a bouncer and set fame requirement to five-star celebrity. So once they're in here, they shouldn't be allowed to leave. Oh, this is a problem with my plan. <laughs> Wait, we'll leave the person in first and then I'll lock it up from this side. So we got a vampire at the grill. <laughs> oh Jesus, no, everything is fine. <laughs> everything is fine. And then we got uh, minions of death serving up the food. Oh wait, there's something to, to heat them up there. I turn that off. Are you guys gonna take a seat or what? You can't just linger about waiting for death. You'll waste your life away. And I hate to break this to you, but you might not have much left. And we'll lower down the standard to grade F. And of course, I'm sure you want to see the menu. Of course, it's just water and uh, puffer fish, which can kill if not prepared correctly. But don't worry, our cheap ingredients shouldn't impact that at all. I may need to advertise the business. No one is showing up. Uh, get the diamond package. Gotta spend money to make money. Lovely, they're taking a seat. That one likes me. That one does not like me at all. I wonder- Oh, she's in my cult! Look! Jim's cult! Oh, one bite of the food and it immediately went down to two stairs. Maybe she knows what's up. She is in the cult after all. I mean, the beauty of this is they gotta stay here because the, they're locked in with the bouncer and then they'll just have to keep eating and the only thing they can eat is the puffer fish which could kill them. Invite over director and co-stars. If there's no one left in Hollywood, then I'll be the biggest star. All right, I'll just invite people over to hang out. Who doesn't like me? This kid. <laughs> I invite this kid everywhere. He just somehow survives every ordeal I get myself into. Nobody can make it over right now. They're all sleeping. I guess it is 1 a.m. Oh, we got our first victim. Another one bites the dust, or in this case, the puffer fish. I think that was the original lyric. Another one bites the puffer fish. It just didn't quite roll off the tongue. Well, I guess when they die, it would roll off the tongue, probably. They're all in shock, <laughs> except for this waiter who's eating some of the remains. Say, like, well, he's dead. He's not gonna finish it. Smells good. They're like, who could have seen this coming? The guy who opened a restaurant and killed hundreds of people at the stage opened a new restaurant and it continues to kill. It's the whole lightning never strikes twice ordeal. Wait, why is she shoveling snow? <laughs> She's like, oh, this is a bit of a hazard. I'll just put that outside. Oh, dude. Dude, you sat on the cursed table. What did you expect? They immediately burst into tears. <laughs> He's like, oh, can anyone else eat? <laughs> I'm feeling peckish. <laughs> Let's all order the pufferfish. <laughs> Who wants breadsticks? <laughs> the one thing that isn't poison. Oh, 
Puffer fish is going well, I see. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's Christmas Day. Why is the Grim Reaper outside shoveling snow? He's like, well, I'm gonna be here all day. Attending to dead sims. <laughs> May as well make myself useful. <laughs> Stop crying over spilled milk. Like, tears aren't gonna bring them back. Come on, here's breadsticks. Come on, eat up fast. It's the only thing that's not gonna poison you. <laughs> Why is he half eating loads of them? <laughs> He's holding two plates. I didn't even know sims could eat from two plates at once. I don't think they're supposed to be able to. He just keeps eating a little bit and then putting them down. Oh, I got a new bouncer. Now the other bouncer is trapped in here. You've become part of the prisoners. You too much sympathy for them. This guy, look, he has no sympathy. He looks like a villain out of a Rocky movie or something. <laughs> He's going to bed with his breadstick. <laughs> Why are you taking a breadstick to bed? What is he doing? He's getting in and out of bed. Is he just testing his balance? He's taking his breadstick everywhere. <laughs> He's obsessed with his breadstick. <laughs> All the customers are pitching in to shovel snow now. They seem pretty happy about the whole ordeal. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm delighted to be locked in this poisonous restaurant. Oh, someone else died. <laughs> Him still holding on to that breadstick, and nothing will make him drop it. I love these. It's popping up information about the employees, but all that comes up is their little heads, their little floating heads. Okay, I was inviting her back to do some little romance, and this guy just kind of came too, but now the door's locked, so uh, I guess he's just setting the mood with the fireplace and all. He's shoveling snow in my room now. Did you bring this in with you, or was this already here? Now Grim is making a snowman. <laughs> There's gonna be a lack of men soon, so I may as well make them out of snow, I suppose. Uh -oh. oh, no, Jim doesn't want you right now. He only has eyes for breadsticks at the moment. <laughs> You're not a breadstick as he shoves his hand in her face. <laughs> He's got the thing running through her face. Look, I like you and all. It's just you're no breadstick. He won't stop doing it. <laughs> why are you singing? You're trapped in this room. Oh, The Sims is so great. Wait, it, why are they both getting into bed? They're both bringing their breadsticks. <laughs> what a kinky relationship. What are they doing? <laughs> I don't understand. How do I go into first person again? God, that does look like a good breadstick, to be fair. Oh, he's running. Where's he running to? <laughs> he saw a bit. For f oh, he's getting sick. Okay, I thought he just uh, saw a bid for freedom and took it. He's like, oh, good, and splashed on my breadstick. Holy shit, what is that behind me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that was fucking brilliant. All right, he's gone into bed. Yeah, he's just taking the breadstick in there. Oh, that was the best first person experience I've ever had. And that's including my real life. <laughs> They're all just starting to break down now. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> this one is having a great time. She's in the cult. She knows the story here. <laughs> you just gotta embrace it and enjoy what you can. A ghost just texted me saying, I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Are you trying to hint at yourself? Because you weren't special to me. Oh, he's got a water now as well as his breadsticks. He's looking around for somewhere to sit. He's got nowhere. I just realized if I go into MC Command Center, I can see how many kids he has. Current children, 12. I don't know if that's overall or just what are alive now. <laughs> I'm assuming overall because that's quite a lot. He can start his own spin-off of Cheaper by the Dozen. Wait, I can make Sims pregnant? All right, let's force him to be pregnant. Wait, can only become pregnant? What does that mean? Sim will always have a baby and never be the initiator of a pregnancy. What does that even mean? I don't- I don't understand. Does that still mean he has to get abducted or like can we do it the old natural way now? Set body part value. Oh, sorry, I gave you a bit of a belly there. Maybe you are pregnant. I'm gonna remove your butt. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you could use him as a ruler. Pregnancy start. Select the Sim to be the seed Sim. <laughs> I love this mod. <laughs> Where's Shrek? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know him, so you can't use Shrek. God damn it. Hey, Shrek, do you want to come over for a bit? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? He's put the breadstick on his phone. <laughs> Wait, why is Santa here? Is Santa in blackface or is that just a new Santa? They're all threatening to quit. I don't care. <laughs> you can't leave anyway. You can either stay here and get paid or you can stay here and die. <gasps> Here's Shrek. Hey, Shrek, you must be freezing. Come on in. Oh, God, he came here to meet him and he's pissing himself. Himself. <laughs> He's not good in social situations. Hey, I'm Shrek, the winner of the battle royale and man who can impregnate other men by simply waving at them. Okay, pregnancy start. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. What, what are you doing now? Is he calling him a hoe because he got pregnant? Enter the numbers of babies to generate maximum three. Oh, okay. Three girls, please. I can force him to go into labor. You're in labor now. <laughs> Look at his stomach. He's like, you smelled something? <laughs> I think I just smelled three babies popping out of me. Shrek is very embarrassed. He's like, oh, sorry about that. The bouncer keeps stopping and then another bouncer takes his place and traps him inside. He looks basically identical, just a younger version. We got some looper thing going on here. He keeps throwing up. I'm starting to worry if he's pregnant. At least there's not a floating head behind him this time. He thinks he just needs the bathroom. <laughs> he's holding it in. He must be so confused. Shrek waves at him and he immediately is going into labor. <laughs> I'm gonna put all these breadsticks in my inventory. I don't want them eating free food anymore. There's some puffer fish over there if you want it. In fact, there's three servings of it that the dead people didn't get to finish. Totally unrelated. Jesus Christ, he's getting into it. He's pretty good. <laughs> oh, good. He's in his swimwear. Great. <laughs> you may not like it, but this is what male peak performance looks like. It's like, how did you get that physique? Oh, it's all genetics, honey. I'm part camel. <laughs> God, Shrek stinks. He's gonna order a table, though. I'm gonna order a load of servings of puffer fish and just leave it on the table table. Ooh. He's like, this food smells awful. <laughs> What's wrong with this restaurant? <laughs> okay, you can go home now that you've ordered. I think Shrek should have his own little spin-off episode where we just impregnate as many sims as possible. Get a lot of Shrek babies, you know? Oh, I think my staff are just walking out. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're all leaving. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> The music really sets the mood, doesn't it? Wait, why is that person cleaning the toilet? <laughs> They're trying to be on their best behavior to get out of here. Yo, Jim, kiss her. Twelve just isn't enough. We need more babies. <laughs> hey, I hear you like breadsticks too. <laughs> Try for baby. <laughs> Bring the breadstick. <laughs> He's like dancing along in the background. Are we just gonna allow him to be here? You know what? Unlock. You can go. <laughs> go have your family. Ugh. No, she's running. <laughs> no, I'll kill you before I let you go. Shit, she got out of here. God damn it. What was her name? I like how I was trying to get her pregnant without even knowing her name. She's coming back over after being stuck here for like five days. <laughs> he's like, I don't see any problem with that. Oh, she's running back. Oh my god, he's freaking out. He's unhappy there isn't breadsticks. Uh, I want to see what this does. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, mark for death. Death by lightning. Yeah, marker for death. Like, I'm not sure what leaving happened. Does it need to wait for a lightning storm or what? Something crazy going down at the ruins. Want to check it out? I guess I'm kind of done here. Sure, I guess. I can even check. Look, she's pregnant with two male babies by Jim Pickens. All right, I gotta go. I'll never see you again, probably. I wonder what crazy thing is going down at the ruins. Yeah, bring, uh, bring Shrek the ogre. It'll be good because Jim calls the neighborhood and Shrek can just repopulate it. It'll be the perfect combination. We might do that next episode. I'll see. Is this it? I mean, it is kind of crazy, but I don't know. Is it worth checking out? Light something on fire. <laughs> Make it worth my while. <laughs> there you go. All right, that was fun. Shrek is not in a club. Join a club. Create a club. <laughs> I think you'll know where this is going. <laughs> Shrek's partners. Join if ye wish to be impregnated by the mighty Shrek. They can hang out at the prison. <laughs> Lots of beds there. <laughs> hey, those are our members. All right, they need to kiss everyone in the club of Shrek's partners. Who knew this episode would end up with me basically <laughs> setting Shrek up with an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> They'll all woohoo with each other. They'll be romantic with each other. There we go. And we've no requirements. <laughs> it's pretty easy going. <laughs> this can be like symbolic. Jim's thing is like a skull for death. His is like a new seed of life. <laughs> who even invited me here? I think the guy who invited me here didn't even come. Wait, it's, that's him, isn't it? I think it actually is him. <laughs> he invites me and then he just goes to sleep on a park bench. All right, with this lovely dance that Jim is doing. Please don't steal it, Fortnite. I think that's enough for the one episode. <laughs> Next time we might explore Shrek's options. Who knows, we might do gyms, I don't know. I don't like to flesh out an episode before I actually start it. But I had a good time today, I hope you did too. I appreciate you watching, folks. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, that was the lightning. That's probably the one that killed the, the woman I marked. Oh well.